the period from 450 to 1066 is generally known as Anglo-Saxon period or Old English. So we'll discuss uh, this period today. Uh, so Anglo-Saxon literature is generally known as adventurous literature. The songs and poems were about heathen gods. Though there was uh, nothing much about Christianity, Christianity was not there. Uh, it is generally known as pagan literature or their wars or gods were being discussed in their poetic works. Uh, the, the, these were the heathen gods or different sects having their own different beliefs or uh, religious doctrines regarding religion. So uh, the poetry of this era or this period is full of wars, bravery, courage, uh, heroism, revenge, glorious deeds, so and so. So in the story of uh, Beowulf or in the epic poem of Beowulf, you will uh, find all these characteristics of Anglo-Saxon period, such as, uh, you know, uh, the adventures of Beowulf, the hero of this work. Uh, it is called, advent uh, you know, uh, adventurous literature or you know gods or like war war between the 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 villainous character grendel and beowulf is uh, at the next level or the peak so there is nothing much about christianity there is nothing at all in this work but uh, you know different sects were there uh, like war is there bravery uh, the the events of bravery are marked in this work uh, such as the uh, the bravery of Beowulf and his mother especially. Uh, apart from that, the glorious death of Beowulf at the uh, at the end or in the middle of the work that shows uh, that this uh, you know work Beowulf is generally known as uh, uh, you know one of the masterpiece works of uh, Anglo-Saxon period. So uh, this is generally Anglo-Saxon period came, Anglo-Saxons, uh, some two or three Germanic tribes came to England around 450, later on in 8th century, Vikings also arrived in England. So the difference between Vikings and Anglo-Saxons was, uh, was the difference of religion, like uh, the later who came were, the, were, were Christians. So, uh, like, uh, we'll uh, move back to the religious, tech, I mean, uh, literary techniques or literary devices that uh, were being used in during Anglo-Saxon literature were symbols, alliteration, canning, I mean, proper rhyming scheme or proper rhyme were being used. So, alliteration was uh, uh, much more important uh, that was being, uh, you know, the tool element being used in uh, all uh, the works of Anglo-Saxon. And then canning was uh, one of the uh, most, uh, we should say, uh, we don't find this or I mean the introduction or the invention of this term uh, uh, that refers back to Anglo-Saxon period. Um, canning is what is actually a kind of uh, uh, what I should say is a compound word where uh, poets did not use C, rather they would use Vale Road in order to in order to give poetic essence or poetic, uh, you know, fervor to their works, like to create rhyming scheme or to 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 complete or accomplish the proper, uh, you know, meter or syllabification within the line of a poetry. So uh, they used to create such kind of things. There were so many other examples such as that. They used to, uh, you know, convert one word into several other words so that they can complete the, the, the syllables within the lines. So that was uh, one of the phenomenal thing uh, that was being used during that period of time. So some other works that if we discuss uh, from Anglo-Saxon period, they were, uh, uh, I suppose, Vidsit, Dior's complaint, the vendor, the wife's complaint. So in these works, basically, we can come to know that, uh, uh, you know, on the one hand, we can see that uh, the the poetry full of lament or mourning, such as the elements of elegy, elegiac tone was there in, in especially Dior's complaint or wife's complaint. So we'll find uh, some elegiac tone also. 
but uh, on the very other dimension if we look into or if you if we look at the work such as vendor or widsit we'll see that they gave us the concept of travel log so which uh, quite later uh, you know was mastered during 17th or 18th century by daniel defoe and so many other writers so uh, vendor and uh, widsit are two travel logs of two different characters uh, the story or the events wherever the uh, the traveler goes and he tries to write or he tries to explain his his own travels throughout uh, uh, the journey so uh, this was uh, apart from these uh, you know works uh, if we discuss some major uh, you know uh, writers or poets of this century are cadman and canwolf so these were some of the important poets uh, and like adam bed uh, was also one of the renowned figures of this uh, you know uh, age uh, he is generally known as historian he uh, did not choose english language as his tool but rather uh, he chose latin language because latin language was uh, you know uh, a religious language bible was written in latin i mean latin latin language so uh, in 8th century later when uh, prose also started uh, prose was being written when uh, i mean uh, the king king of essex king alfred started writing prose his uh, uh, you know purpose or his intent was to uh, to to educate or civilize the english nation uh, so uh, in order to teach his nation he started translating different works from latin he translated the very important work of uh, adam bed like the uh, ecclesiastical history of english people and that is uh, generally known as the first history of english people so he translated that and history of oriosis and uh, some other works he translated he uh, i mean um, uh, king alfred uh, he uh, he is also uh, known as the first english real prose writer or sometimes he is known as the father of english prose in uh, real sense so one another figure from anglo saxon period is elfric and elfric uh, wrote only homilies that is uh, uh, in other words we can call uh, like short uh, sermons short uh, short sermons so sermons like religious homilies or sermons that uh, were written by elfric so uh, like uh, as we were discussing earlier uh, the character the the poet cadman so cadman's uh, story is very 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 famous like uh, a person uh, who was a, a a shepherd when he sleeps at night uh, he had a dream he saw an angel was asking him to sing in the name of god but he refused to sing because he thought that uh, he could not sing and his voice is not uh, that much euphonious uh, i mean uh, or melodious to sing but uh, but the angel asked again to sing in the name of lord so cadman sings and his voice from nowhere turns into a melodious strain and then he started singing that the very next day he goes to cadman the very next day he goes to uh, to uh, the the other uh, priests where he claimed that he could sing and he could convert all the 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 uh, uh, biblical verses into poetic uh, poetry or into a beautiful song or a strain but then all other priests and religious uh, uh, you know people they started laughing at him but he started uh, you know singing one after another and he converted whole bible into uh, into poetry or into a beautiful or euphonious or melodious song so that story is uh, uh, in the ecclesiastical history of english people originally written by adam bede that is generally known as adam bede the venerable and later on it was translated by uh, you know uh, king alfred so this is all about anglo saxon period
hopefully uh, i have covered all the things from uh, different angles and different perceptions and different dimensions but if anything uh, is missing just let me know uh, and uh, just let me know uh, that uh, this the method that i am explaining is good or not ya main kisi aur method ke sath explain karu